How do you make a successful scented candle? Behind the scenes at Belmay, we show you the creative and technical expertise that makes a winning fragrance. For the past few months, Michelle and her colleagues in America and Hong Kong have been developing new fragrances for the Tindra collection. Would you buy any of those? The one that make you think? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, the first one. The first one. Yeah. Today, Michelle is in store, trialing them with IKEA customers. You haven't tried. Did you want to have a change? Do you want to smell some of the different colours and see which one? If there's one that you like differently, the pink ones. Do you do you buy them from here then? Nice. Mm. It's like something I want to eat. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. What do you think? Fried cake. Smells like biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Well, when it comes out, I want to buy number. You want to buy that one? Right, I'll star it. Thank you very much indeed. We've just got a new project into IKEA for the new Tinder range. So we... The process typically begins with Michelle and her colleagues taking inspiration from fine fragrance trends, market research, and current products. This cherry is really, really coming through. It's coming through like fine fragrances as well, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. For Tindra, Michelle is looking for fragrances with global appeal. Oh, that yeah. is actually a really nice move on from, yeah. from that. At the same time, her colleagues in New York and Hong Kong will be going through the same process. Oh, it's lovely. It's, it's, nice. got, it's got real fruity it's in it, tutti well. fruity. I really like, and I'm happy to get those requested from the States because I know that's. Um, that is a States. Yeah, it really is. That would be too spicy. Just get this. Once Michelle has a fragrance idea in mind, the hard work begins. For example, for a new vanilla fragrance, Michelle must first search through the thousands of options in our library and select formulas to be made into samples. What I need to do is find the best vanillas, the notes that I know that I think are going to really work well for this project and ask the perfumers to incorporate those in a fragrance for IKEA. It's very difficult to say verbally what we want, to give them a smell. They, they work better with smells, we can tell them what we need from them. So I can say to them, like, this apple note I'm looking for, with this mint note, with this vanilla, just so we can experiment and find some good blends that are going to be um, popular and I think are going to panel well. Over the coming weeks, Michelle will have hundreds of fragrances made up in the lab. Sometimes you get really lucky and you don't need to get that many, but I think with the vanilla one I'm going to need to do at least 50 because it's such a big area. And that's just for vanilla, so I've got the raspberries and the, all the others to do as well. I can't do the math. Lots. It's perfect. Thanks, Tracy. Right, what do you think for green? It's an unusual one for green, but I think it's. Um, I think that's what makes it interesting. Yeah. I think we we'll lose it's that nice. one. Yeah. You're going to spend forever trying to get that to work. No, you're right. Goodbye. It's an. It's a nice fragrance, but it's just to actually Im improve the strength enough. You're going to have to so drastically change the character that it's actually going to be probably spoil. Having identified fragrances with real potential, Michelle begins to panel test them. From knowledgeable to novice noses, everyone at Belmay gets involved. I have to say there's some cracking ones here. Um, particularly the brown and the red colour. Some of these. And yet that's unusual for me because I tend to go for the vanilla y smells and stuff like that. But these are actually really good. Yeah. Well, I tend to select based on. If I was having to purchase it, uh, whether I would actually go into the shop and purchase it based on that smell and whether I like it, of course, I'm not going to buy something that I don't like. So. 